question in space. 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 Hi, it's me again, Max Armstrong, your favourite Earthling space show host, bringing you another episode of A Question in Space, a show that doesn't underestimate science. Let's meet our three contestants in the outer space. My name is Apollo. My area of interest is studying time and motion in space. The view outside, I can see gassy, colourful planets. Hi, I'm Minnie Jamison. Named after May Carol Jemison, the first black woman to travel into space. I am an astronaut whose speciality is food and investigating our galaxy. My name is Ripley. My speciality is looking for aliens. Right now I can see more colours than in any rainbow. It's electric. It must be tough and exciting being out there in space. What do you miss about planet Earth? I miss gravity, being with friends, and running around outside. I don't miss the pollution. I do miss the trees, sunlight, nature, and birdsong. I miss my cat, my family. Thank you. I know I would miss my big comfy bed and fresh food. Now let's play A Question in Space. Round one is our picture round. So fingers on the buzzers and get ready to respond. What does it look like on the edge of the universe? Apollo. I thought it looked like heaven. Waterfalls everywhere. Empty except for a beam of light. I was under the impression it was like the Milky Way. Thank you. I guess we need to do a little bit more research on that. Our artist Stella sketched you descriptions, putting them together and got this. Let's move on. Round two is our phone a friend round. Our question is, is there a planet out there we don't know about? If so, how do we know it's there? Jemison. My friend, Blue, might be able to help. <laughs> ah, an alien! I am surprised you don't know oh, the answer to this, because as we do occasionally wave at your big telescopes on Earth and in space, we do we sometimes do little dances and hope you see them. I'm a big fan of your TV show, Strictly Come Dancing. I especially like the moonwalk. Thank you, Jemison, and a special thank you to your friend, Blue the Alien. Round three, our final round. What happens next? We have a question from the public's supernova from Bristol. What is on the other side of a black hole? Ripley. As it happens, earlier today, I visited a black hole. I didn't jump in it because I wasn't sure if I'd turn into spaghetti, stretch for eternity, get bounced about, or turn up in another universe. Now imagine that. Well, Ripley, were you over cautious or wise not to jump in? Whichever one, we are pleased you are here with us on the show and didn't turn into spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you for that insight. It's the end of the show. Thank you to our three contestants in outer space. Blue, the alien, Stella, Supernova, and you, the audience. We hope the show was thought-provoking. Remember, don't underestimate science, because science is a powerful thing. Tune in next time. It's goodbye from me, and a goodbye from them. Let your imagination flow. I'm off now to go practice my moonwalk. May the force be with you.